Good evening, everybody. Joe Baker here with the Edit Bay. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to move your video project from one computer to another. So moving a video project from one machine to another sounds relatively simple, but it's not. I mean, if you, this is not a Photoshop file where every asset in your comp is contained in a single file and we can just move it from one computer to another or from one drive to another. In the case of video projects, all of these video clips that are over here on my timeline are basically just linked. They're not really here on my timeline. It's just that I'm Premiere is looking at the file somewhere else on my hard drive. So in order to move the project file from one computer to another, I actually have to move every single asset uh, from one drive to another. And so Premiere actually has a feature that'll streamline this for you. So let's go up here to File, Project Manager. And this first box up here is just gonna ask you to select the sequence that you wanna copy. So right now, this is the name of the sequence. You can always double check down here, by the way, to make sure that the names match. And then we're gonna move on right here and figure out exactly what we wanna do with this. Now, I just wanna copy everything as is so that I can move this over to my mobile workstation and work from there. So this default selection right here, collect files and copy to a new location, is gonna work fine for what I wanna do. But this is pretty slick too. This consolidate and transcode will give you options for basically transcoding your source media to a single, using a single codec across the board and then copying everything to a new location. This might actually come in handy if you were having problems with, say, in your editing project, you were having problems with your export render, which coincidentally I ran into with this particular project. It kept failing on my export render and I suspected a corruption in the project file. This may have actually helped me in that I could have transcoded all of my source media Mind you, that's not a render of the timeline. I would actually be changing the file type or duplicating the file type of my source media and then putting it into a folder along with a brand new copy of the project file, which would have then given me an additional opportunity to render it out. But anyway, for our purposes right here, we're just going to select collect files and copy to a new location. Now I've got a destination path. It's going to ask me, where do you want to put this file? And I'm just going to stick it on my desktop. I'll select that. Now this is an important one too. Now, by default, this is actually unchecked, but I went ahead and I checked it. It's exclude unused clips. So I have a ton of clips over here. You can see them all folded up over here in my, uh, in my bin. I didn't use all of those in my project, which is pretty typical. You're probably going to have far more files imported into your project bin than you actually have laid out here on your timeline. So I don't want to import and do, you know, make copies of all of these source files if I'm not going to use 80% of them. So I'm going to exclude unused clips. I'm only going to put what I need in this folder so that I can transfer everything over to another machine. You can see some other options right here. So including audio conform files and you're including preview files. If you've done any timeline renders, that'll come in handy. Um, and then renaming media files to match media clips. This one you may want to be careful with. If you've actually gone down here and renamed any of these just for organizational purposes, that may trip you up a little bit when uh, Premiere is trying to relink with all of these new media clips. But no big deal because I haven't renamed anything. So I'm going to leave that checked. Now, once you've set your destination path, you can come over here to calculate and it'll tell you how much uh, space this folder is gonna, is gonna occupy. So let's go ahead and hit calculate. All right, not too bad. I'm looking at, you know, 26 gigs, not a big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this and it'll analyze and it'll copy media. Again, what it's doing is it's duplicating your source files and sticking them in a folder for you. And this is really handy because if you, you know, in this particular case, I have a data drive, a three terabyte data drive that's partitioned and I've got media from each partition and trying to go and search through that, through that drive, looking for all of these clips and which one happened to be on the timeline would take hours, even days. This makes it really, really easy. All right, we just finished up. And for reference, by the way, this is about a 10 minute film, including credits. And it took about four minutes to process that and copy everything. So let me go ahead and minimize this. This is the folder it just created right where I told it to right here on the desktop and inside are all of the contents. And by the way, there are several nested things in here like this Photoshop uh, credit roll and of course all my nested After Effects comps were also copied over. So that may have added to that four minute copy time, but this is it. Everything's in a neat little box right here. So I can copy this over to my portable hard drive, take that over to my mobile workstation and then copy all the contents of this folder onto the hard drive of my mobile workstation and I'll be up and running. Anyway, this is Joe Baker with the Edit Bay. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the box below. I'll see you next time.